Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can load and edit custom calibration poses. So I'm going to talk about uh, the new feature of Character Creator 1.5. It's a uh, it's free to custom pose your character now, which is a uh, major upgrade and allows you to test out your character in a larger variety of scenarios, pose scenarios. So uh, first of all, let's take a look at the very simple way to uh, pose your character. And that's to go up to the Calibrate section right here, the Calibrate tool. And you have a number of various uh, embedded calibration poses that come with character creator. You have the more feminine one right here and this one here. Um, you can see the variety that we have and if you see any breakages in the mesh uh, you can actually fix those and we'll talk about how to do that in a separate tutorial but this one we're going to focus mostly on uh, calibration poses and everything like that. So new with 1.5 is if you close down the calibration panel now your character will remain in that pose uh, which is pretty cool. Let's try a more uh, normal one here, this uh, just female pose. And uh, you can also change you know, your, your character's outfit as well. If I go back to projects here, I'm in the uh, professional outfits projects. Um, if I just you know, say um, double click on this or click and drag it in, you have the option now as well of 1.5 to load the project or simply just replace the costume. So it's going to replace this character's costume. Uh, it's going to transfer it to this character right here. So now we have the uh, professional punk as well. And you can also change the morph shapes as well. If I go into morphs and cho uh, choose like a heavy female, our character is going to maintain that calibration pose, but she's going to be a lot different. So you can see a uh, you know, very interesting looking uh, character here. Uh, almost evil, one might say. I'm going to go to my desktop and uh, reload in the original project here. Let's just uh, go back to character creator. There we go. And now we can load the project. And it's going to basically, I uh, know we don't want to save this, it's going to basically replace everything with the uh, new project. Now let's take a look at a simple pose where our character's mesh might be uh, kind of breaking through. Um, so you might notice this character is kind of strange and a little bit eccentric. She has her underwear over top of her jumpsuit there. Let's try a pose like this one here. And let's take a look at the uh, rear end there. So notice that some of the mesh of the jumpsuit is breaking through. Uh, that's not something we want. So say you had this motion in iClone and the mesh is breaking through. Wouldn't really look that good. I'm going to turn off my morph gizmo right now because we're not going to use that. Um, so what I need to do is with my uh, um, underwear, over underwear I guess, selected, what I'm going to do is go into uh, edit mesh mode here. And now you can edit the mesh. And we're going to do, do a really simple uh, example of this. Just uh, select an area and you can pull it out just like that real quick. And that should be all we need to do for that little section there. And if we get out of edit mesh mode, you can see I just pulled the mesh back ever so slightly and we fixed that issue right there. And um, you know, there's various other things you can do. Again, like by going to conform and calculate collision again, that's another option for you. So we'll have another tutorial that goes into much more detail on uh, mesh editing and everything like that. Um, but for now, we're gonna move on to creating your own custom calibration pose. So for that, I'm gonna go over into iClone here and I have this character loaded up with a uh, dance motion from one of our uh, street dance girl styles packs. And the pose that we want to have test out here is we want to test out this pose right here where she's just like, you know, going wild with her uh, dance move. Anyway, so if I want this pose to be, uh, you know, I want to use this pose for uh, character creator. Um, now you can import in the eye motion, but if you import in an eye motion, it's going to only import in the very first frame, which in this case is this frame right here, which is, you know, not that good. So let's try and, and get uh, this pose in there instead. So I'm going to press F3 and go into my timeline. And with my character's track open, I'm just going to click and drag in the collect clip track here for like one or two frames, doesn't really matter. And then I just need to right click and select add motion to library. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to add it to the desktop here. We'll just call this uh, test pose as an eye motion. And that'll save up to our desktop. And then once that's saved, all I need to do is go to my desktop here and we should have test pose. There it is right there. I can simply just click and drag this uh, directly into character creator onto my character and she'll go into that pose right there which is uh, you know pretty cool. And you can see there's some mesh problems that can be, that can be fixed but we're not going to concentrate on that in this tutorial. So that's how easy it is to you know create your own custom uh, calibration pose. Another cool thing, another cool feature with uh, character creator 1.5 is the ability now to use human IK to custom pose your character. So. Uh, um, in addition to importing in the eye motion, I can go into edit, for example, and go to pose editing. You can also use the N hotkey. And now you have the ability to use the uh, you know, motion layer editor tool like in iClone 
to custom pose your character. If you don't want to see all those chunky bones, you can just take out the uh, bone edit mode if you don't want to select them. You'd rather select them from the image right here. Um, or you can you know, change the size and the opacity and everything uh, with these settings over here. We're not going to worry about that right now. I prefer not to have bone edit mode on myself. And you know, we can use a uh, human IK here, like take the, uh, the center of our character, or her hip, and you can see the human IK at work right there. Uh, we can just move it around like that. Um, if I wanted to, right now the feet are locked. You can see there's a transform and uh, rotation lock, which is what the TR stands for. You can take your, uh, you know, character's leg and just kind of move it over like this. And, you know, say you want to give her a different custom pose. We can just, you know, pose her as we like. So she's, uh, you know, reaching out to someone or something like that. And, uh, you know, there you go. There's our... Uh, our custom pose like she's reaching out to the stars or something. Um, so pretty cool, we don't have uh, any breakages really on the mesh there. And that's really about all there is to it. Uh, I just want to show you those uh, couple of cool new features. Now keep in mind when you export your character in FBX format, it's not going to keep the calibration pose, it's going to uh, revert to a T pose. And we may change that in the future, but for now, uh, when you export FBX, it'll always be in a T pose. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out our other Character Creator 1.5 tutorials and our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.